If you do production in the field, then you know network connectivity can be a crucial factor in the success of your production, which is why today we're talking about Mind Media's Q8, a network bonding encoder, which takes your HDMI or SDI source, sends it up to the cloud, puts all the different bits together that it's collected from Wi-Fi and Ethernet and USB dongles and the different SIMs that are loaded into the card and assembles them into a single RTMP SRT or RTSP stream and sends it to Facebook or your home production facility or to any decoder like we have here. So we're taking this camera through NDI, through our production system, out to the cloud, down to our, our modem, uh, port forwarded to our decoder and sent to the screen there all in about a second. So let's take a closer look at Mind Media's Q8. Let me give you a quick tour of the product. Uh, one of the nice things about it is, is that it actually will keep working. If you unplug it, um, I am going to take the Ethernet and power out of it and just leave the HDMI. And it will stay powered on, and it is now only streaming via the, uh, the Wi-Fi. So on the front here, we have a nice display. You can see what it is being brought in. Um, uh, HDMI SDI selector, I have HDMI currently going into it. Uh, your three SIM slots, a Wi-Fi on-off, uh, power on-off, a uh, lock button, and then this cycles us through different screens which give us lots of useful data about the performance and uh, the signal and configuration. On the side here, uh, we have the um, USB port. This is for things like uh, USB dongles. Uh, I've tried Netgear, Huawei, Jade Stick. Uh, power, um, so this has a battery built into it, but if you want it to run long term, um, let's let's plug it into uh, the provided power attachment. Uh, there is Ethernet, uh, landlines are always, always the best internet that you can get. On the back here we have three LTE, these uh, correspond to the three different SIMs, and then um, a HDMI, SDI, and um, a 3.5 mil connector. On the bottom, uh, obligatory quarter 20, and uh, information that you need in order to sync it to the app that we'll talk about next. Now let's take a look at the app. Uh, this is how you control the Q8. Uh, sorry, iPhone users, this is an APK only, um, but it is worth noting that uh, you can download it directly from uh, my media. And so on the home page here, uh, we have, this is where all of your devices are listing. Uh, this is the uh, the A5 camera, their bonding camera. Um, the Q8 is set up here. And we have RTMP push. Um, this is going to be where we set up our RTMP stream to YouTube. And then uh, device info, um, on-screen display, but under more, there's a lot of different things that are interesting. Um, we can take a look at the you know, the APNs. Uh, this is how you set the names for your SIMs. These are the three SIMs. Uh, your network configuration, what's working and what's not. So we can see that we have just uh, Wi-Fi and Ethernet. And then uh, do we do bonding? This is just turns bonding on and off. Um, we have, uh, where's our SRT? Um, down here. Going to have to, I guess, yeah, move it up a little bit. So we've added uh, our SRT stream. So this is the IP address of our um, decoder uh, out on the internet and the port that it's being forwarded to that you saw earlier uh, in the video. And um, we can also record the stream internally to there is um, a, a spot for a SD card and then uh, other things that we can configure uh, here. Uh, like your different Wi-Fi settings, uh, what's available, what their passwords are. So all of the different things that you want to set up are, are mostly here in more settings, and the ability to basically just turn the stream on and off. I thought it'd be worth showing that we don't need to use a hardware decoder to receive the signal from the Q8. Uh, in this case, we're taking the signal from the camera uh, by NDI over to the production system over there. You can see we're adding in a lower third and then we're uh, outputting to the Q8 up to the cloud via SRT over to vMix and then you can see on the screen here we have a SRT listener at port 5000 and you can see that um, on the screen here we have NDI on the left and SRT um, return from the Q8 on the right so you can see that's a that's a pretty quick um, out and back again and we can add as many Q8s to this production as we like because vMix doesn't really care how many SRTs we feed into it as long as we have enough resources to process that. 
And that's what makes Mind Media's QA a great addition to your next production. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can check us out at usbroadcast.co, our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, and many other places. But as always, if you have specific needs, please feel free to email us or give us a call. Once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.